We're focused on all things college today, and that includes Troy University, one of the biggest schools in our state, and you could be a student. Here with more is the Director of Enrollment Services, that's Corey Lynn Williamson, along with Troy's SGA President, Betsy Bennett. Ladies, thank y'all for joining us. Thanks thank for you having for having us. Corey Lynn, we'll start with you. Tell us all about the enrollment process. If someone is watching, if they want to be a student, if they want their child or grandchild to be a student at Troy, what does that process look like? What do they need to know? Yeah, it's super simple. We are willing to help any student or family that we can. We are actually starting our first day of classes today, so really exciting for our students like Betsy today to <laughs> yes. be here, of course. Uh, but we want to make it a seamless process, so ultimately they can apply online. Uh, if a student has a 2.5, they can be admitted if they have no test scores. If they do have test scores, we do want those. We want to be able to award them some generous scholarship money. So that's going to be a 2.5 with a 20 on the ACT. Uh, and of course, Betsy can can speak about scholarships too. I know she has been the receiver of one of those generous awards here at Troy, but ultimately we want to make it super seamless for students to be able to apply online. Happy first day of classes Yay. to everyone <laughs> there at Troy. What are some of your top programs, Corey Lynn? What are some of the programs that people, parents, or even students call and ask about all yes. the time? So Troy was actually founded as a teacher's college. That was my undergrad and my master's at Troy, so that of course has my heart. Um, but other programs such as nursing, we actually just had a 100% NCLEX pass rate from our last last graduating students, which is huge and incredible. We're so proud of them. Uh, but also other programs, RMI, accounting, psychology, nursing, uh, and of course, just anything that can allow a student to be successful at Troy. We have over 110 majors and minors, so ultimately a student can find their way at Troy. Betsy, you're a student. What are you majoring in? And talk a little bit about campus life. Yes, yeah, so I'm a human services major. Um, the goal is to go to occupational therapy school after graduation. Ooh, smart girl. Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, campus life, it's always busy. There's always something for students to get involved in. We have over 200 student-led organizations on our campus. So really, there's something out there for everyone. Um, we're actually in the middle of our welcome week right now, so that's for any student that wants to join um, any organization or just kind of see what a little bit of campus life is like. Um, we have games and stuff like that. So there's always something for students to do on our campus. Why would you encourage those students, especially they're brand new, maybe they don't know a lot of people, why would you encourage them to step out of their comfort zone, take a step and join an organization? I think there's always opportunities for personal and professional growth in that aspect. So meeting people that you might not see every day, um, just getting out there, making connections um, and things like that, that is just so important. Not only being on campus for your academics, um, but also just for those extracurriculars as well. You said she was a recipient of a scholarship. Talk a little bit more about the scholarships you offer and then what is the process to apply for those? Absolutely. So I'll back up just a little bit. August, we really encourage students to apply and be admitted. August starts with an A. All of those things are an A. <laughs> September is a really big month for us. That's actually when our scholarships open. Um, so you do have to be an admitted student before you can apply for those scholarships. Our scholarships do start at a 20 on the ACT and move up from there. Um, that's anywhere from $2,000 a year for the next four years for our freshmen uh, up to a full ride at Troy, which is very generous. Betsy, what scholarship did you receive? I was receiving the Scholars Award, so that is for um, you get full tuition yeah. and traditional housing. I told you, she's a smart girl. <laughs> I tell you, she's a gem, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sure. Now we got to talk about it. We're representing for sports oh, yes. here. Talk oh, a little yes. bit about athletics. Yes, we are so excited. Countdown is on. You'll see Troy football helmet uh, represented as well as our band helmet. Um, actually, our band, Sound of the South, is our largest campus organization on campus. So super excited for them. They really allow our student life to kind of come to life. Uh, but actually, the last Saturday of the month uh, will be the 31st. We will have our first home football game. We're super excited. But from an admission standpoint, we actually have an event that day. So we would welcome and love to have families who may be looking at Troy. That's prospective students, families, and guests to join us that day. Uh, that's when we'll be hosting our Troy tour so they can kind of see what student life is like, but also get to go to a football game for free. And then in September, time to, kind of to summarize what Betsy was mentioning, we will have Trojan Day. That's another way for students to come on campus, see what it's like, learn about admissions, scholarships, but also be able to hear from our 200 student organizations. And of course, see Troy University hopefully bring home a win. Betsy, from the student perspective, what is game day like? 
Oh, it is so much fun. <laughs> we just had a sneak peek of our band um, just last Sunday at the Odyssey Convocation, and it gave me chills. I'm just so excited. I'm ready to be back in the vet um, and hear the sound of the South and watch our Trojans play. Corey Lynn, anything else you want people to know if they're considering Troy for themselves or someone in their family? Why would you encourage them yeah, to think, look into it? Absolutely. So our motto this year is just welcome home. And I think Troy has certainly been a home away from home for so many students, whether it's the top of the state, uh, out of state, or the very bottom of our state in Mobile and Baldwin County. I think students like Betsy are able to find their home. We are really proud to have students being able to find their place, uh, build that resume, make that networking happen. And so we want our students not only to find their home at Troy, but then of course lead into to their next phase of life and be successful too. All right, Corey Lynn, Betsy, thanks for joining hey, us here on Alabama you. Live. And again, congratulations. Have a first great first day of classes to all of those there in Troy. Thank you all for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it. It was so lovely.